Hi, my name is Craig Foster. I'm the founder of Dynaline Golf, and I'd like to tell you the story of Dynaline and how it was developed. It's a technique for controlling club face angle at impact. And as a young golfer, I was like everybody else trying to learn to hit the ball farther, and I developed a severe a wrist injury at the end of the all in the bone here, and I was unable to hit balls for two years, and it was just devastating because I was in the golf club business, I love golf, play golf all the time, but I wasn't able to hit balls. Uh, but the good that came out of that was that I went to a hand specialist and I learned about the function of the joints and the bones and how the uh, anatomy works. And uh, so after I got back playing again, uh, I developed a severe case of the yips. And this was uh, really embarrassing. I was uh, too uh, afraid to play with other people because it was uh, just too much pressure. And I tried all the uh, methods that were around to uh, fix the yips and none of them worked. Uh, so I kept thinking about this and I had been a, an auto mechanic, worked on engines before I got into the golf club business. And so I understood how machines work and one of the basic principles is you have to tighten down the moving parts so that they will, you'll have a consistent repetitive motion. And it's uh, like the front end uh, alignment on your car. You have to have the wheels aligned so you're not uh, making constant adjustments to the steering wheel just to drive straight down the road. So uh, we are soft tissue and so you're not able to tighten down the moving parts as much as you can in a machine, but you can... Uh, reduce the range of motion and stabilize motion in the joints uh, to uh, safely. So uh, this can really produce a lot more stability for your putting stroke. So after I uh, worked on this and I developed this technique, uh, I started posting on one of the early golf social networks called Secret in the Dirt, which was started by Steve Elkington, Jackie Burke Jr. and Mike Maves. And I was posting videos to help golfers who had putting problems and had the yips. And uh, Steve Elkington became interested in the technique. He didn't have yips, but he recognized uh, that this provided a lot of stability for a putting stroke. And so we started working together and I taught him the method. And this was at, during the last uh, full year of his playing on the PGA Tour, he ended up having two number one rankings in putting he was number one from three feet. He had 100% with 471 consecutive putts. And then he was also uh, number one from inside of five feet. He had 595 attempts and he made 585 putts for over 98% uh, proficiency rating in putting. So uh, Dynaline is a technique. It's just the opposite of what you see uh, mostly on tour now where players will aim the putter first, and then step in and build a stance and build their alignment. And you'll notice when they do that, that they're very careful about completing their grip and completing their dress position. And to me, that's just evidence that they have a fragile system and it's unstable. So Dynaline is, uh, goes the opposite direction. We're aiming the putter as the final step uh, after we stabilize motion in the joints. We're stabilizing motion in the uh, wrist, elbow, shoulders. We, have a, we use an open stance and then we wind back the torso clockwise until we're square with the target line. And this provides stability from the feet, ankles, knees, hips uh, for the torso. And then by we go to a soft end range motion when we're uh, winding forward with the uh, shoulder joints, elbow joints, and the wrist joints. And so uh, this is a pre-shot routine that you learn. Uh, it can seem a little bit complicated at first, but it is much more stable than uh, aligning the putter first and then building a stance around it. And once you learn this technique, it becomes second nature. And you really, uh, one of the other big benefits uh, besides controlling, getting more consistent face angle at impact is that it allows you to focus more on the distance to your putt. Once you get lined up, you're confident that you, you can return that putter to the start line. Uh, so you can really focus on distance control rather than uh, trying to guide the putt down a line at a certain speed, because those are two separate things. And once your mind is focusing on one to the other, it changes focus, then it takes a moment to uh, reconfigure. And that can really be uh, a problem when you're putting, especially on uh, pressure putts. That's where this uh, can really, uh, 
be beneficial. So uh, just go through the routine here and we're stabilizing motion in the joints and getting this nice stable arc. We can have a nice stable arc. I can really take my fingers just about off the putter and it will remain stable on the arc. Then I can line this putter up with my start line and once I'm on the start line then I can just really focus on the distance control and feel how hard I want to hit that putt. So if you'd like to learn more about this, um, I, I have Zoom lessons available and there are uh, complete instructions uh, in videos here on the Recast channel. And so there's a, also a master link in, I'll leave that in the description. So good luck with your putting. Thanks for watching.